few great initiatives have influenced the attitude and perception of Nigerians to the numerous challenges posed by the demands of daily existence in recent times than the Family Support Program, FSP. Fewer people still had envisaged that the program would blossom into such a full-fledged social revolution, which has succeeded in bringing about the much cherished rebirth of our society through advocacy and inculcation of the country's rich cultural and traditional family values as conceived by the initiator and first lady of Nigeria, Mrs. Mariam Sane Abacha. The enthusiasm, general public support and goodwill which greeted the commencement of the program in 1994 was likely because it was radically conceived in structure and objectives as a de-urbanized program directed at stemming the tide of unwarranted development and the disturbing scenario of an imminent collapse of the family as a stable social institution. As an all-encompassing program, the Family Support Program has sought and succeeded in affecting all aspects of social endeavor in the country. Perhaps the enduring impact of the program could be seen in how it has met the family and by extension the women, the weak and disadvantaged groups in the society, the focal point of positive change. The implementation and attainment of the program's novel objectives have therefore been rural-oriented, highly localized, yet retaining the trappings of a global struggle to integrate the energies of women into national development strategies. There has also been concerted effort to address the challenges of meaningful existence of the citizenry by promoting family cohesion, discipline and enterprise using the country's cultural heritage. To translate the fundamental philosophy of the family support program into concrete action, an alternate implementation strategy using the states and local government areas was adopted with the wives of the military administrators in each state as well as council chairmen piloting the program at their respective areas. Adamawa State, basically a rural area, has benefited immensely from the family support program, more especially in changing the perception and approach of the women to the numerous challenges posed by a society which has tended to marginalize their position as potent agents of change, thus leading to a sustained campaign by the program to sensitize the women to the need for better self-determination and personal enterprise through capacity building. Successive chairpersons of the family support program in the state have strived to build a solid program based on the principles of distributive equity in the attempt to guarantee the rural populace a proportionate share of the state's resources. This is the basic approach that the wife of the present military administrator and chairperson of the Adama State Family Support Program, Mrs. Gracie Kalu Igbamahe, has adopted since arriving the state, along with her husband, on the 22nd of August 1996, to a rousing welcome. The chairperson who took over immediately from Hajia Aisha to Mustafa Ismail promptly declared that. She will continue from where her predecessor left and exploring more ways of improving upon the achievements for the benefit of the women and advancement of the state. It should be noted that all exalted positions are challenging, especially when the task ahead affects the core of the society, which is the family. I have listened with keen interest the progress made by the state's family support program and observed that the outgoing chairperson has done a lot in improving and uplifting the living standard of women in the state. Her record of achievement is commendable and worthy of emulation. 
And my assumption of office to mobilize this continuity in the battle for the empowerment of women, especially in Adamawa State. On this note, and with divine support, I promise to improve on all work done by my guests. Mrs. Gracie Kalu Igbama, the quick-witted woman of admirable industry and penetrating intellect, immediately swung into action by seeking dialogue and consultation with the various women leaders and groups aimed at injecting a new lease of life, vibrancy, depth of motivation, and purposeful sense of direction into the program. Barely a month after taking over the FSP chairmanship, undertook an extensive tour of the former 16 local government areas of the state to acquaint herself with activities of the family support program, problems and prospects in the rural areas. The first leg of the tour took the FSP chairperson to local government areas in the northern part of the state, made up of Madagali. Michika, Mubi, Maiha, Pong, Gombe local government areas. The second leg of the tour was in Genye, Jada, and Mayabella local government areas, while the remaining councils, which are centrally located in the state, namely Guyuk, Sheleng, Numan, Demsa, Fofor, and Yola, were toured between the 25th and 27th of November 1996. Mrs. Gracie Kalu Igbama used the extensive familiarization of the former 16 local government areas to continually harp on the need for women being the bedrock of the family to form cooperative groups towards improving their economic status. She equally emphasized the primacy of education as a tool for the empowerment of women and appealed to mothers to consider the education of their female children as a matter of priority which cannot be subordinated to any other parental obligation. Change. I, however, still want to emphasize that there is still more to be done towards achieving our noble goals. It is sad to know that many women are still laboring under poverty, illiteracy, and social injustice. These are only few of the barriers we must break through in order to actualize our desires for empowerment and self-determination. Thus, we should seek to achieve this by getting educated, funding and joining organizations and finding ways of improving our economic power. I am happy to know that the FSP activities here are progressing smoothly and the, the level of self-awareness the increased among the women. The Admiral State FSP chairperson visited and enlisted the support of the prominent traditional rulers in the various local government areas, including the Lamid of Adamawa, Emirs of Mubi, the Chief of Ganye, Demsa, Numan, and Guyuk. The chairperson also visited and inspected small-scale industries and cooperatives operated by women which produce medicated soaps, laundry bar soaps, body creams, baby dresses and the like. Also visited were women multipurpose centers where local art and pottery, calabash decoration and hand knitting are done. The tour was an eye-opener of the sort for the FSB chairperson who took enough time to inspect the women's centers where beneficiaries are taught to develop their skills and acquire extra knowledge. For instance, the chairperson had the opportunity to see women blacksmiths producing simple farm and household implements like hoes, knives and cutlasses and encourage them not to relent in that effort to make themselves self-reliant. During the tour, the FSP chairperson also commissioned two mother care and baby welfare clinics in Demsa local government area. 
She also commissioned a grinding machine and presented a UNDP loan of 300,000 Naira to two multi-purpose cooperative women associations in Fofora local government area. In furtherance of the effort to fully integrate late privileged members of the society and prove that the program is highly committed to ameliorating the plight of the ordinary man, the chairperson made a cardinal program of constant visits to old people's homes, delinquent rehabilitation centers, hospitals and schools to assist children, victims, the weak and the disadvantaged. Accordingly, the Old People's Home, Numan, has on several occasions received cash assistance from the Adama State Family Support Program. During last year's independence anniversary, Mrs. Kalu Igwama visited the Special Education Center Jada, where she gave monetary assistance, books, and food items to alleviate the problems of the students. The chairperson also assisted the school in repairing 20 braille and manual typewriters as well as a vehicle to provide logistics. The chairperson also visited the Yola Specialist Hospital where she gave out blankets and bedsheets to improve the condition of patients. The family support program also donated baby food, clothing, toys and toiletries to the motherless baby home Yola. The chairperson also visited the Reman Home Yola to assist and counsel inmates on the need to engage in profitable ventures as a means of avoiding crime and juvenile delinquency. To mark the International Tuberculosis and Leprosy Day, an appeal fund was launched for the rehabilitation and upgrading of the Gidankoa Leprosy Center, Ganyi, to a health clinic. Over 300,000 Naira was realized at the launching. A state family support program assisted the hapless inmates of the center with 50,000 Naira, while the chairperson, Mrs. Kalu Igbamai, who was the brain behind the launching, promised that the plight of the patients will be regularly visited. As part of the greater commitment to the well-being and healthy growth of the child, the Adama State Family Support Program has forged bilateral cooperation with Pfizer International on worms eradication program through the school's deworming scheme and the Helmin Thiasdes Elimination Lower Cost Partnership, better known as HELP. The exercise is mainly targeted at children who are the most vulnerable to worm infestation as well as adults. The Combatrin Kids Club Yola recently presented packets of Combatrin drugs to the FSB chairperson who promised that the program will be unrelenting in the effort to combat the menace of worm infestation in children and adults. The Adamao State Family Support Program has also been active in providing health care services to women and children, particularly through the National Immunization Days, NID. Since the pilot program was launched in the middle of last year, the exercise has been conducted twice in the state with massive turnout of expectant and nursing mothers and children to each exercise. For the first time in the history of the state, zonal parties were organized for the children of the underprivileged outside the state capital. Mrs. Kalu Iguama was able to meet the children and interact with them in their environment. Gifts, food and biscuits were lavishly given out to the children. In a bid to carefully nurture growth in the family unit and teach the etiquettes of disciplined living, the Adama State Family Support Program organized a workshop on protocol, security and welfare for women. The workshop, which was held at the Yola International Hotel, came up with far-reaching resolutions on making our women good managers at home and at work, productive, courteous, disciplined, honest and reliable individuals in all their dealings.
The Adama State Family Support Program also organized a two-day workshop on home case management and prevention of diarrheal diseases for mothers, women groups, and non-governmental organizations in recognition of the serial threat posed by diarrheal diseases to the survival, improved health and quality of life of children. Participants were taught the preparation and application of the sugar salt solution and homemade fluids that can be used in combating diarrheal diseases. The FSP chairperson, Mrs. Gracie Kaluigwame, personally demonstrated the preparation of the sugar salt solution to participants. The Adama State Family Support Program has also established and now runs an antenatal clinic for free medical treatment to pregnant mothers at the Eula Specialist Hospital. The wife of the Adama State Military Administrator has made it a point of duty to visit and cheer up patients and expectant mothers in the hospital. Accordingly, she was at the Yola Specialist Hospital on New Year Day to witness the birth of the first baby of the year and presented various baby items and food to two lucky babies. I'm very grateful because I didn't expect it, but it is good that I did it to me. I'm very grateful to them, including all my family. To mark the one-year remembrance anniversary of the late barrister Ibrahim San Abacha, one week of intense memorial activities was declared by the Adama State Family Support Program. The activities include a visit by the chairperson to the Garkida Leprosarium and General Hospitals, where she donated cash, food items and gifts to the patients. 47 accident victims at the Yola Specialist Hospital we are also assisted while memorial services were held by the family support program in Yula and Jalingo Taraba State as part of the memorial program. Considering that 80 percent of the women in the state are farmers, agriculture has been a priority of the Adama State Family Support Program. It has acquired and distributed over 125 metric tons of fertilizer to women cooperatives in the 21 local government areas for dry season farming. The family support has also acquired and cultivated a wide expanse of land at the Lake Girio Irrigation Scheme Yola for growing rice and vegetables. Her Excellency, Mrs. Carlo, since her arrival here in the state pertaining to women in agriculture, she has really did a lot because it's a long time that we see women receive even fertilizer. It's very hard for women to get fertilizer, but with her coming, she was able to even give women 100 bucks or more than that for, for each local government. Even there are some places that they don't even have fatama, but with her coming, she has already introduced this fertilizer to women and it, she make it in a way that even people who are not into dry season farming, even behind their backyard, they will now go for um, a dry season farming. What to do? Even up to a stage that I was able to meet her personally about women in agriculture and the way that she accepts women in agriculture, I don't know how to put it. Because with her objective on women in agriculture, people, women in Adama State, especially even women farmers and other women entrepreneurs who are into other small, small business, they are going to enjoy it when they give her the full cooperation of what they plan to do. In the area of capital projects, the Adama State Family Support Program is constructing a multi-million Naira ultra-modern women center with the proceeds realized from the Family Support Trust Fund launched in 1994. When fully operational, the center will provide facilities such as conference halls, offices, restaurants, craft shop, and adult literacy classrooms. The restaurant and structures of the main complex have been completed, and the ceramic industry at Numan will relocate and begin operation in the premises soon. 
The program has also mapped out packages of incentives for small-scale groups and associations wanting to come together for the advancement of their cause and that of women generally in the state. So I would like that more and more women should organize themselves in groups, initiate their own programs, and when they start, they can always come to the government for assistance. That is the family support program, to give them assistance, if not in cash, at least in terms of advice or manpower. Like recently, UNDP program, Women in Development program. Recently, the UNDP Women in Development program has a plan to assist women by giving them grants to start their own businesses. And about two months ago, uh, almost uh, 100 different women cooperative groups filled up forms for grants from the UNDP through the Commission for Women. We got the farm form, we acquired, uh, we, 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 we produced more farms for, uh, forms for them, we taught them how to fill up the form, and they did it and they wrote it. It is now on the table of the UNDP resident representative. The SPMA has already taken it to Lagos. We are waiting for the approval. And if only women can come together to form themselves in a group, to initiate programs for their own benefit, we, we, you see, the government is one, and so many uh, responsibilities of the government shoulders. Women are organized lot. Talking about organization, most keen observers of government affairs opine that it is the tenacity of organization of Mrs. Gracie Kali Igwama that has ensured the successful implementation of the objectives of the family support program in Adamawa State. As we always say, all hands have been on deck. Because with good leadership, yes, you can do something. But without the cooperation of the other affected group, things will not move. So one, I will ascribe this success to the, the type of dynamic leadership which I see in the First Lady. Because I, I believe she has programs in her mind. She has designed uh, areas where she feels she can tackle things that will better the lives of uh, our community. Not only that, after designing the program, she has people who will support the programs, who will execute the program. And these are the officers with her or the people with whom she was who carry out the program. And thirdly, the, the group to whom the program is uh, being given also needs to cooperate with whatever program has been brought into. So taking all this together, the three areas, the leader, the executors, and the people on whom the programs are executed have worked together, cooperating together. That is why I think there is that success. Involved. She is really fully involved. At any time you go to see the first, uh, the, the family support chairperson, she is ready to accept you, she is ready to listen to your problems, and she is ready to involve herself fully. And in fact, you don't even have to go to her, she's always out looking for problems where she can be able to lay her hands and so that she can be able to render all uh, assistance that she could. Adama State has done a lot and is still doing a lot. I am particularly happy with its concern for the less privileged ones in our society. I also want to commend Her Excellency, Mrs. Gracie Kalu Iboma, on her efforts as the chairperson family of program of Adama State. And at the same time, want to call upon all the women of Adama State to give the FSP all food support for the development of our dear state. For the past one year or so, you find out that, you know, more women are getting involved. 
in a lot of programs initiated by the government. And coming to specific the family support program, uh, uh, the first lady of the state, that's Christine uh, Kelly Obama, has tried to ensure that you know she personally goes to these local government areas to you know to interact with the women to tell them why they should get themselves involved. You find out that she has you know uh, taught most of the local government, if not all the local government areas. You know she she has had you know personal interactions with women, especially politi women political groups. I know that one area where Mrs. Gracie Kali Mamai has received commendation is in the area of working closely in collaboration with women organizations and non-governmental organizations, especially during the last voters registration exercise. The family support program and prominent women organizations met with women in their localities and homes to enlighten them on their civic responsibilities and on the need to come out and register for the exercise. Work hand in hand, just for example, the last exercise for the registration. The Women Commission are busy carrying out their mobilization program. You have non-governmental associations like the National Council for Women Societies also going about mobilizing or enlightening the women. You have the Forum for Women in Politics also going about. I know in, in future it would, it would be, it will look a bigger group if we join together and, uh, and form a, a larger group to meet the women. But for the time being, as we have started, each group has done its share by meeting the various communities or from home to home or from village to village, meeting them at their local setting, mobilizing them, um, enlightening them to their civic duties. In the last six months, the Adamo State Family Support Program, under the leadership of Mrs. Gracie Kali Gomai, has since been reinvigorated into an organ of mobilization, self-actualization, and the empowerment of the women folk. Most people outside Mrs. Gracie Kali Gomai's constituency agree that her positive advocacy and activism has ensured that women has been attuned into the mainstream of the state's economic, social, and political life. Family support program has had a tremendous impact on lives of the people in the state. This program, which was initiated by the First Lady, uh, Her Excellency Ms. Mariam Abacha, has done a lot in the realigning the collective energies and potentials of our women towards self-actualization and general social development. Culturally, the woman is seen as a subordinate to the man, and therefore dependent on man on her, for her livelihood. But with the advent of the family support program, this gender trend has changed, particularly with the sensitizing of the woman by Her Excellency Ms. Kali Iboma toward this program. She has gone out of her way to visit hospitals, distributing uh, uh, food, materials, equipment with her personal money. And this shows how interested, interested she is in the program and how she cares for it. She's a courageous woman, loving and caring mother. The question could be asked about the secret of the success of Mrs. Gracie Kali Obama in successfully piloting the affairs of the Adama State Family Support Program. I know, first of all, she as a person is a very dynamic and very open person. If you know how to work with her, you will enjoy her. She is very generous, very open. And uh, she made it easy for all of us to work and uh, without any reservation. And in addition, the tremendous support, the great support that we were able to be given by her husband, His Excellency, the uh, military administrator, Navy Captain Kalu Iwama. He gave us a lot great support. Anytime we go and uh, we ask the government for any uh, uh, to, and to forward our proposal, 
He always approves. He gave us great support. The government has played a great role. Because honestly, as we all know, nothing can be achieved without the support of the government, particularly when it comes to finance and, of course, moral support. He has given us all the moral support and uh, give us good directions, and we followed, and we are able to succeed. In addition, also enjoy the support of general public. I've always said that the general public, the society has given us tremendous support. This is why we are able to survive. Family support generally, the, world, the nation, all over the nation, enjoyed support of the general public. Both those involved, those that are not directly involved, and the beneficiaries have been widely accepted. And the former chairperson too cannot be left behind. She worked tire tirelessly. In spite of everything, she did a lot of work. At least it was during that time we were able to launch the Family Support Program Trust Fund. And we got some money with which we have almost completed our women's center. And we've done a lot of things even at that time. So the two chairpersons that I have been privileged to work with have, are very dynamic. They are all very, very dynamic, and res responsible and respectable women. Thank and, uh, you. We pray that God will continue to keep them alive and healthy to continue with the work for the benefit of the less privileged. It quite a lot have been achieved under the present dispensation, and much of it has been through the sheer will and determination of Mrs. Gracie Kali Bamai, whose bright ideas have been materializing despite the shortage of funds. This has prompted the wife of the military administrator to make a passionate appeal to the First Lady of Nigeria, Mrs. Mariam Sani Abacha, for the disbursement of funds to state FSPs for special capital projects. Mrs. Gracie Kaligbamai has demonstrated that she is highly committed to giving the program an intellectual and pragmatic direction designed to make women in the state very productive, self-reliant, and an indispensable life wire of the state.